What's up, Seattle and Denver? Welcome back for Natural Selection Part 3, covering Lessons 1.5 and 1.6. I'm Miss Annie Jarnigan. Just like Ms. Alaski, I teach at Asa Mercer International Middle School in Seattle, Washington. I'm bringing you today's lovely learning from my Fortress of Science. And as a quick introduction, that right there, that's my cat kitty. Not a creative name. Probably won't see her on cam, but you will hear her wrestling around in the background. So what you'll need for this lesson is a pen or pencil, some lined or blank pieces of paper, and optional but encouraged, a family member or friend you can check in with, a copy of the Osterlope and Thorn Palm histograms, a copy of explaining changes in the newt population, and a copy of writing about the rough skin newts. Also awesome if there is a computer logged in to amplify. So let's go ahead and get into our lesson for today. This is Natural Selection 1.5, Adaptive Traits. So go ahead and take a look at the histogram on the left about the rough skin newts 50 generations ago and today, looking at the trait poison level. Now, this would be a great time to pause and talk with your friend, family, or even to yourself. How would you describe the distribution of traits in the population 50 generations ago? How would you describe the population today? And how has the rough skin newt population changed? So go ahead and pause now. So when I look at this histogram for 50 generations ago, what I notice is it started off with a lot and a lot of newts with a roughly low poison amount. But when we look at the population today, it looks like it's almost entirely high poison. And interestingly enough, I'm not seeing any more of these low poison newts. So one way to describe what happened between 50 generations ago to today would be there are more high poison and less low poison newts today than 50 generations ago. 